Hey there, I'm Elie de Poisson, the author and founder of the Self Healing Spiral. And if you're watching this video, it's probably because you want to know more about me. So in this video, I would like to tell you a bit about my story and why I decided to become a coach. So my story is long, but let's try to make it short. I mean short, at least not too long. <laughs> So if we have to start at the beginning, I would say that when I was a kid, I was bullied quite a lot at school. I didn't have much friends and I was alone most of the time in my, in my world dreaming. And then I grew up and I, I just wanted to have love. So I started to be that really nice and smiley girl, always helping everyone to have friends. Then my parents divorced, which created a huge imbalance in my life and because I didn't know how to welcome my emotions I started eating and eating a lot and I had eating disorders and in three months I put on like 10 kilos or something I was really much bigger than I am now and then time passing by I was always trying to do the right thing you know as the eldest of three I thought I had to show the example and so I was working in a bank, I was buying a flat, meeting someone, getting married, doing a master in evening classes so that I could have the feeling that when I would turn 30, I would have ticked all the boxes. And then when I turned 30, I kept hearing this voice in my head. Yes, you've ticked all the boxes. You've proven you can do it. But what are you doing for yourself? What do you want? And then I started looking for answers. Who am I really? What do I want from my life? And what is my purpose? So I went on a retreat to try to find answers. And I also went to India for a yoga teacher training for one month. And when I was there in India, I realized that I didn't love myself. I remember really well, I was on that yoga mat um, already projecting myself as a yoga teacher and I kept thinking you have to lose weight otherwise you will never attract students and then I had the second voice that was like but are you crazy I mean the success of the teacher doesn't depend on how she looks but it depends on what she shares how good she is how caring she is with her students correcting them how creative she can be in her classes and how much of the teachings she can share with her students not about if she's 50, 55 or 60 kilos. And then I decided to devote myself to healing and to love myself. And the day I came back from that yoga teacher training in India, after being away for one month, I come home and my husband tells me he doesn't love me and he is leaving me. I went through months of feeling completely useless, rejected and I didn't know how to start over until the day where I had a huge panic attack. And this was the, the alarm for me that was telling me, you have to take care of yourself. You cannot pretend that everything is fine because I wasn't fine. And so I started looking for tools. How could I take care of myself? How was I functioning? How was the brain functioning? What are emotions? And I was looking for that tool that would always help me be better and do the right thing for me that tool that would help me heal and finally love myself, even though I just got dumped. And one morning after spending months of doing research and reading books and watching videos, all the things I had learned really came together. And I woke up and I was like, it's a self-healing spiral. Yes, this is how it works. And so I started applying the tools and I realized how powerful and how magical they were. They really helped me rebuild myself because they helped me welcome my emotions, get rid of my fears and love myself as I am. And this is what healed my wounds. And so I started sharing, sharing this method through a book and through coaching practices. And then I started realizing that I had awakened to my true self. And this is what I was always meant to do. Learn from my personal experiences to teach them to others. So today I devote myself to helping women create a life, a life of harmony where they feel free and completely aligned. 
where they have healed their past, where they can completely be themselves, speak their truth, and also find their true purpose. That's it. That's my story. And it's my passion. I feel like it's my duty to help others because I would have loved to have that help when I was stuck there two years ago. So now I'm giving you that help if you feel stuck where you are. You can have a huge transformation like I did transform myself and create a happy life. I hope this story inspired you. If it did, you can subscribe to my channel where I share a lot of other videos and tools. And I would love to connect with you on a breakthrough session to hear about your story and to see how I could help you. Bye bye. Take care.